Health experts are worried spring break could lead to another spike in COVID cases. The scene is ripe for that in Florida, where police had to control gatherings that had gotten too wild. Natasha Chen has that story. Spring break is here in Miami, with people crowding the beaches and bars as if there is no pandemic. Some gatherings grew out of control. Miami Beach authorities arrested at least 100 people over the weekend. And without a statewide mask mandate in Florida, local leaders must impose their own rules, something the Miami Beach mayor says is even more difficult with spring breakers in town. The governor has made it difficult. We have a mask mandate, we just can't find anybody. Despite the CDC urging Americans to avoid travel, according to the TSA, nearly 2.6 million passengers went through checkpoints at airports across the U.S. Friday and Saturday. People are going on spring break and, and letting down their guard as some of these new, more infectious variants are spreading across the country. The threat of party goers spreading the virus isn't the only big concern for health experts. While nearly 15% of U.S. adults are fully vaccinated this morning, a large number of former President Donald Trump supporters are refusing shots. According to a new poll, nearly half of people who backed Trump in 2020 say they will not get the vaccine. In Arkansas, it's a very pro-Trump state in terms of the last election. Uh, and, and so uh, we see that resistance uh, whenever we are opening up eligibility uh, for the vaccine. We are seeing vaccine hesitancy, and a lot of that's dealing with white Republicans, quite honestly. While all other living former presidents were publicly vaccinated, Trump quietly received his vaccine in January. I cannot imagine that if he comes out that they would not get vaccinated. It would be very helpful to the effort for that to happen. As the vaccine rollout continues, some states like Maryland are relaxing pandemic restrictions, a move the governor defended. We didn't lift uh, restrictions. We did raise capacity limits, but we kept the most serious mitigation measures in place, which is masking and distancing. Dr. Anthony Fauci asks Americans to keep following personal safety measures, warning the U.S. is vulnerable for another coronavirus surge. We can avoid that. If we continue to vaccinate people, get more and more protection without all of a sudden pulling back on public health measures.